Hi, welcome all of you and uh, you are watching the series of 1000 plus most expected question in the gate exam and uh, this all will be done to get 50 plus score and if we get 50 plus score certainly we get career in IIT systems and other syst other places also maybe higher education PSUs whatever you want to get through gate we can get that and in that direction only uh, we are going to discuss some concepts and this is the most appropriate time where we do that so spend some uh, 20 minutes on 10 questions and this way 20 questions every day please solve with us and we are very sure we are going to get concepts in the exam from here anyhow this is the second video of strength of material uh, in which we we have now uh, uh, discussed we are to discuss some questions here where this is a second video of strength of material in the first video I discussed some basic concepts with you you see degree of difficulty and uh, kind of uh, concepts will evolve with passage of videos so in gate exam as you must have seen 60 to 70 percent is a easy paper not difficult paper so you do not get score not because you do not know you do not get score because accuracy is not there so uh, what you should try to do is 60 to 70 uh, percent question paper which is very simple you should try to accurately hit that particular part 10 to 20 percent paper is very difficult uh, unless until you are very good in preparation it you may not convert it and sometimes I advise my student that the 10 percent aapka paper hai exam mein jo aapko nahi aata, do not even attempt it so that you should not go into negative marking and do not waste the time so I'm trying to make 10 questions in such a way that seven questions are really easy and not difficult. Uh, one or two questions may be ticklish or mistake on my part which actually can be there in the exam also or aapko concept pata nahi chalega, forget about that. You can try to convert seven out of 10, seven correct, zero incorrect and that is very good for us. So uh, these 10 questions, you solve these questions and detailed solution as I told you, you will get on the Nimbus. So anyhow, let's start with the questions. Let me read first question here sectional beam sectional bar is given to us you have to find out reaction at a and b e is the modulus of velocity 2e section per load is p length l 2l and you have to tell what is the reactions at a and b as you know we have already done this kind of question in the previous video uh, so you need to tell what is the concept here maybe you are to take the free body diagrams of two sections ac and cb and you are to basically uh, use that free body diagram to solve this question Next question is about center of mass and center of gravity. You know center of mass and center of gravity is the same thing. Centroid is the thing which is for sections that is two dimensional entities. That is the area center and the mass center is center of mass. So there is a mass of one kilogram kept at one meter from pivot O. Where is pivot O? This one is the pivot O. So one kilogram is kept as one at one meter distance as a point mass. Two kilogram is kept at three meter from pivot and three kilogram is kept at four meter from this particular pivot. And these all are point masses. And you have to tell where the center of mass for entire this thing is uh, system is concentrated. Okay, let's go for third question now. <clears throat> you are given pure aluminum stress strain diagram. You know, pure aluminium stress strain diagram, more or less, you get uh, plastic region only, elastic region is less. And in the elastic region, you know, there is a uh, Hooke's law valid, but plastic region may Holloman equation is valid. So you are getting this equation sigma is equal to 300 into 10 raised to power 6 epsilon under root. Epsilon is the uh, strain actually, this uh, sigma is the stress and this is given in pascal newton per meter square sigma is given in pascal so sigma is given to you and uh, you are to tell that if the 50 meter is the diameter and length is 2 meter uh, of the aluminium and there is a tensile load acting 60 kilo newton because this uh, basically stress strain diagram normally is plotted on universal testing machine where tensile loading is applied so if tensile load of 60 kilo newton is applied you have to tell the elongation produced in this particular thing so you are to tell delta l so uh, just see how you will find this question next question is this there is a curved pipe which is given to us and its original radius is 0.6 meter it is heated non-uniformly so that normal strain along its length is 0 0.06 cos theta and you know let me tell you this is not 0 0.06 this is 0 0.05 this one is not 0 0.06, this is 0 0.05 cos theta. Ab isko solve karna because actual solution mein 0 0.05 hai. So determine the increase in length of the pipe. So what he is given you is that original radius R is given as 
0.6 मीटर तो अगर आप इसको हीट करोगे तो बताओ अब इसकी लेंथ कितनी बढ़ जाएगी दर इज अ क्वेश्चन विच इज गिवन टू अस थिंक ऑफ इट एज इंटीग्रेशन आपको करना पड़ेगा ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ देर इज अ इलास्टिक लिमिट देर इज अ प्लास्टिक लिमिट सो सिग्मा इन मेगा पासकल स्ट्रेन इज ऑल्सो गिवन तो स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डायग्राम इज गिवन एंड अप टू इलास्टिक लिमिट ही इज गिवन यू सिग्मा एंड स्ट्रेन ऑल्सो and stress strain diagram for steel alloy is given and you have to uh, original diameter and gauge length you know what is gauge length jitne bhi stress strain diagram aapke plot karte hain wo universal testing machine ke upar aap banate ho what is universal testing machine sir there is a machine which is basically applying some kind of tensile load p on the bar and this bar has original diameter d not original length l not this l not is called gauge length so the moment you subject it to tensile loading its length or diameter change ho jata hai so he is saying that uh, you have to find out what is the final diameter and length uh, the <coughs> poisson's ratio is 0.5 given to you so load is given to you and the poisson's ratio is given to you and stress strain diagram in the elastic limit is given to you next question is a cylindrical rod of length 30 mm is given diameter is 15 mm and it is hanging vertically this is hanged vertically from the roof now if it's a diameter if the diameter of rod increases by 5 mm suppose you increase the diameter by 5 mm the extension of the bar due to self weight there is a formula for that extension of the bar due to self weight will change by what percentage and specific weight is given to us for the material of this bar as this so you have to tell what will be the change in percentage of this particular thing i hope this question is clear to you let's go for next question now a ball of mass 100 kg is dropped from particular height of 10 meter and it hits horizontally the rod of volume 1000 mm cube this is a rod given of 1000 mm cube volume if the material of the rod has a uh, modulus of velocity as 10 raised to power 5 mega pascal you have to tell the stress induced in the bar acceleration due to gravity is given as 10 meter per second square so there is a ball which is hitting the bar and you have to tell what is the <coughs> basically the stress induced in the bar again very very good question here next question is there is a bar uh, circular cross section bar which is subjected it is actually as a cantilever and it is subjected to a load p at its circumference as this you have to tell that what kind of stresses are induced in it so you know the meaning of this and what stress is induced in this okay now you have to find out what is the volumetric strain in the cube if modulus of velocity and poisson's ratio is given to us modulus of velocity is 10 to 5 mega pascal and poisson's ratio is 0.5 and let me tell you sigma x 100 mega pascal sigma y 50 mega pascal sigma z 150 mega pascal is given to us so the body is subjected to three dimensional sigma x sigma y sigma z and you have to tell what is the volume what is the basically volumetric strain produced in this particular body last question is okay now this is the load given on the beam the equation for that is the loading equation is 2 sin x cos x uh, given on the beam where x is the distance from the left side you have to tell which one is the correct representative of the load you know which one is the correct representative of the load you have to tell that so what is the answer for that right this is the question given to you in this particular case so let's find out i think there are some good questions try to solve this question in 20 minutes and in 20 minutes try to get seven correct and zero incorrect that is my expectation from you see the detailed solution on nimbus for this fine thank you